the twenty-four thrones of the twenty-four elders, a revelation of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, 4-4. Four, four. This is the pronunciation guide. The written rune appears here, Fehu. It's pronounced as in fate. The Saudi Arabian writing, you know, is F. Now that is the rune song we have yet to do. It is the first of the runes, but we are doing it last. And then the last shall become the first, because Fehu, the letter F, is always the first. It is the rune of true wealth. Remember, war is not natural. Money is made from the blood of human beings. True wealth is from the green plants of the earth, and that is what Fehu will teach you in the song we sing after the pronunciation guide. The next rune is Uruj. The rune looks like this. It is pronounced U as in blue or choose, Uruj. Therizaj, the rune looks like this. It's a, a woman with a pregnant belly. Therizaj is the rune of orgasm to create children who are the kings of the earth. You know it as the word the. It's pronounced the as in the. Antush. The rune looks like this. Antush. It's the letter A in the Saudi Arabian alphabet. It's pronounced ah as in awesome or on. Redo. The rune looks like this. You know it as the letter R. Redo. It's rolled off the tongue. As in round. Canage. You know it as the letter C. It's pronounced K as in king or come. The soft C pronunciation making kin, the kings, the children, who are the kings of the earth, the soft sea made them sin in a language manipulation to make sure the slaves of the masters did not reproduce and commit sin. You know it as the letter C. Gebo. Looks like the letter X. There is no letter X. This is Gebo. You know it as the letter G. It's pronounced G as in gift. Unio. Sacred universal light. Unio. You know it as the letter W or V. It's pronounced W as in woman, or v, as in vine. And in order, around the circle, remember, they, they don't go in a line. I, I put them in a line here just to help you, but remember, these go in a circle. Dagaj at the south, where the summer solstice is. Yera at the north, where the winter solstice is. Barkana to the east, where the spring equinox is, Kenaj to the west, where the autumn equinox is, and they go around again and again and again, forever and ever, if you leave them alone, the runes never lie. Chagalaj, the rune of the present and the future and the past and male. And female. <laughs> you put the gaj on top of that, and you get my name, boys and girls. Chagalaj. Rolled from the back of your throat, H as in Hebrew, or the Ch of a raven. Chagalaj. You know it as the letter H. Natiz. This is the rune Natiz. Natiz. Pronounced N as in need or knowledge. You know it as the letter N. Isa. E as in Easter. 
This is our second foul. Ooh-ah-ee-oh. Anyway, some of you all recognize those vowels. They never change. They're always pronounced like that. You know it as the letter I or the word is. Yera. The letter Y or the letter J, it's pronounced Y as in year or J as in jar. You know it also as the word year. Aywaj, the 13th rune. The rune of memory. This is where those 24 pieces of junk DNA come in. They're in your spinal cord. Aywaj represents your spinal cord when that memory is activated. And maybe more. Aywaj, pronounced ai, ai. Looks like the letter I. <laughs> kind of confusing because you're told that one twice. But when you look at the rune, you can see the difference in being and remembering you're supposed to be peaceful with truth and light and love. You've just forgotten. It's okay. Everybody's got the same DNA. Huh? We all got those 24 pieces of junk DNA waiting to activate. And Pertho, give birth. Once those DNA pieces activate, boom, they give birth. Pertho, pronounced P, as in P. You know it as the letter P. Ah, oh, geez, the mark of the angels, females with their arms spread to Father Sky, singing songs of love and peace forever. You know it as the letter Z. It's pronounced Z, as in S, buzz, or zoo. Z, ah, geez. And then Soelu, the female angels wake up and light comes everywhere, and it's pronounced s as in sun. Mother sun awakens everyone. You know it as the letter S. Tewaj. T, t. You know it as the letter T. Tewaj is the ancient name of the, the white eagle, the father sky. Burkana, the ancient earth mother, Yorada herself. B, as in B, 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 you know it as the letter B. B is the ancient Celtic word for bringers of peace. Ewaj, being able to flow from one world to another. Ewaj, E, as in evolution. E, you know it as the letter E. Turned on its side there. Manaj, the letter M, pronounced M, M. You can see it's just the flip side of all G's. Female and male are equal in a world of love, truth, and peace. And men have their legs and penis rooted into the Mother Earth, holding still, doing what the women tell them to do. It's a beautiful world. La gouge, the letter L. Turn it upside down and invert there. You can see it. Boom, letter L. Pronounced O as in life. Ingouge, the rune of the circle. Not a letter, but a, a movement. Ing, do ing, be ing. Viking, pronounced ing. Ingouge, the rune of the circle. Otella, the fire guarding the circle. Okay, you are born in the circle of light, or you're not. You're born a slave and taught the ABC slave tongue, and you're forced to murder people and use their blood to make money, and dear God, then you die a slave, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And when you use that language to fight darkness, well, darkness fighting darkness isn't going to do it, boys and girls. So this is the language of light and fire. And when you get over your fear and you walk through that fire without fear at all, the fire will not touch you. And you will be in the circle of light singing with the angels. You know this as the letter O, pronounced O as in over. Othella, fourth world over, fifth world beginning. Dagaj, Ragnarok, fourth world over, fifth world already here. Join us or... Enjoy your death in the fourth world, and may your death be beautiful. Dagaj. You know it as the letter D, pronounced D. 
It is the great awakening of humankind back to the center of love and truth and peace. Back to the runes. <laughs>